Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm Tommy C, and I'm the sysop kung fu master, uh, professor of the Shop in the Point YouTube channel. I recently did a review on Star Wars. It was an impromptu review, a live show, a, a live hockey show, strangely enough. Uh, but there was nothing going on that day. Um, my little chat did quite well. Got a lot more hits than I'm used to taking. And uh, got a lot of subs over it. And a lot of people asked me, uh, one person in particular asked me if I do something like that again. And here I am. I'm going to give you a review. This time not of a film, but of a trailer. The new Ghostbusters reboot. And we're going to watch it together. Me and you. You're going to get a hockey fan's view. I'm not a movie reviewer. But I can tell you what I like, and I tell you what I don't like. So, before we start accusing everybody of sexism, let's get right into it. Let's watch the new Ghostbusters trailer. For apparition. That's okay. She seems peaceful. My name is Erin Gilbert, doctor of particle physics. At <laughs> that stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Very hard to wash off. We have dedicated our whole lives to studying the paranormal. Now there's sightings all over the city. There are people out there that need our help. Holtzman, you're a brilliant engineer. Erin, no one's better at quantum physics than you. We can provide a real service. I'm joining the club. You guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. And I can borrow a car from my uncle. Uh, you didn't disclose that the vehicle was going to be a hearse. It's a Cadillac! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay. Someone is creating a device that amplifies paranormal activity. And we might be the only ones who can stop it. Holtzman, come on. The hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? <laughs> There's a bigger picture at hand here. These ghosts can possess the human form. Oh, hell no, the devil is a liar! Get out of my friend, ghost! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark! The power of pain compels you! Ow! All right, there you go. There's a new trailer for the Ghostbusters reboot. This is not a continuization. It's if a whole new crew or in a whole new time zone and the whole Ghostbusters happen under different... I don't know. I'm not a movie reviewer. I don't love science fiction. I'm not one of these nerdy guys. I, 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 like, I like hockey and booze and occasionally a movie that entertains me and it usually has to have a lot of explosions and blood and all this other stuff. And heavy metal or really dark hip-hop music helps too. I'm a simple man of simple pleasures. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about this trailer. First, I'm going to avoid the elephant in the room. The fact uh, that these new Ghostbusters are women. But I'll get into that. I'll get into that a lot. I'm going to tell you why. I know it's going to be shocking. Why I didn't like the trailer. And I'm going to start off by not mentioning it having anything to do with women. Not that I'm afraid to be called a sexist, because from what I can see, the SJWs will pin you no matter what. I'm just going to do it from this way, because 
you're right. I don't want to be called a sexist. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, here we go. The first thing is this. I didn't laugh once. The original Ghostbusters film is one of the funniest films I've ever seen in my life. I loved it. I collected all the little... I'm in, almost 40, so I collected all the little things for the real Ghostbusters cartoon. I had the stuff, the junk, the lunchbox, you name it. I dug it. It was really funny. And the thing I found so great, I saw the movie, it was like 85 or 86 or some, somewhere. Around, oh, actually, it could have been 86, so I was under 10. So I was like 84, 85, somewhere around. I was like 8 or 9, about my daughter's age is now. And as I got older... I got more of it. It, it. it seemed to age well. It did. It aged well because the humor that I didn't get, I mean, when I was in there, I was just like, you know, and whatever was going on, I, I just dug it because I was a kid. But I got older, I understood the, economy, uh, the, the, the comedy better. So that was great. It was fantastic. This movie was, this. I'm going to sit, all right, I didn't see the movie. This trailer wasn't funny. It didn't make me laugh. Just from an advertising perspective alone like all right we're selling a comedy make people laugh there's nothing funny there the closest thing to funny is the power of pain compels you smack and it was telegraphed i knew i knew she was going to say that or make a reference to the exorcist i knew it i felt it i felt it the other thing i don't like and this is just movies in general is the overuse of cg and computer graphics or whatever the hell they call them they didn't use that in the original Ghostbusters, and I suppose, and maybe because it's a reboot, it's okay. Uh, there's sort of an homage in this trailer to the original library scene. Library? Um, and maybe that's how they become Ghostbusters, which is how they did in the original movie, which is fine. But the ghost sucked. It sucked. The slime thing wasn't funny. The vagina joke, uh, innuendo joke right after that, wasn't funny. It's kind of lame. A little predictable, like a lot of the jokes in this one. It, it, it just didn't dig it. And the overuse of CG, I don't know. Why a movie 30 years ago looks better, their ghost looks better than and creepier than something I would, I don't know, uh, shoot in a video game. It's just lame. I don't know if that's a criticism of the film as much as I'm just sick of CG. It's not scary. It sucks. I don't know any of these actresses. I mildly recognize one. And like I said, I'm not a reviewer. And I think it's Melissa McCarthy. She doesn't make movies that are aimed at me. I know so little about these people that I can't really make a judgment on their talent or whether they pick the right people or not. Because I don't know. I don't think that would be fair. But it is fair that that trailer did not make me laugh. Holy crap. The good thing about this movie, I suppose, when it comes out, more than likely, Ghostbusters 2 will not be the worst movie in this series. Okay. I've avoided it long enough. The elephant in the room. The new Ghostbusters are women. Which changes things. A lot. Politically. And uh, I came across this article. I could have wrote it myself. It was a goof. I should write for The Onion. This is the first one. Caitlin Tiffany, her headline. How to talk about the new Ghostbusters movie with friends, family, and commenters. Well, thanks, Caitlin, for telling me how to talk. And by the way, that's going to be a theme. For all those hipster jerk-off friends of yours that are going to pretend to want to see this movie because they don't want to be seen as sexist, Expect a lot of this type of arrogance, elitism. The trailer sucked. There's no way around it. I'm sorry, you could have put four men in there. You could put 20 men in there. Hell, you could have you could have raised the dead and put the original cast in there. Ivan Reitman included, that's what I mean. Had, had to read those lines, and it would have sucked. It wasn't funny. Listen to this. This is all you really need to know. There's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out this summer. As I'm sure I don't have to tell you, I guess you're going to. A lot of people are unhappy. A lot of people. Who? Didn't they teach me that in goddamn middle school? Who? Who's unhappy? About the fact 
and we have expressed their concerns uh, with a tenor that, let's just say, violently sexist. <laughs> violently sexist. I don't think a movie reviewer is going to hurt any woman. They might not go see the movie, though. Violently sexist. Melodrama. For Christ's sakes. I'm going to tell you right now. I think the whole SJW guilt factor uh, out there uh, to sort of guilt you into seeing this film or... Hey, I could give it a chance, you know? Even though the trailer wasn't funny. Don't worry about these people. If you don't like this, what you saw, or here's another one. If you don't want to see it because women are in it, not the original cast, that's up to you. It doesn't make you sexist. Let me prove it right now. Two men, we're going to play Thelma and Louise in an upcoming reboot, and a woman speaks out and says, you know what? I think that's bullshit. I think Thelma and Louise should be women. Well, it's an honest opinion. You think the Ghostbusters should be men? It's not sexist. It's just an opinion. These women are going to make you laugh, but they're not going to make you laugh. Sort of like the men did 30 years ago. That's what it comes down to. So don't worry about these SAW things. Don't worry about it because they're going away soon. Everybody's sick to death of them. I saw this in the early 90s. People like rushing on, uh, what was it, Arsenio Hall stage saying he didn't put enough gay people on. I think, what's his name? Uh, Elton John was on like the week before. These people will go away. They're just about done. They're kooks. You could dislike the movie for whatever reason you feel. And you could express it on Twitter. And you could do what I do. Tell everybody to kiss your ass when they give you a problem about it. There'll be more. Here's something interesting. Oh, the guilt trip's not over yet. Uh, isn't the black female scientist in the Ghostbusters re... Was he? There isn't a black female scientist in the Ghostbusters reboot, and people aren't happy. Who are these people? Who are these people? By Yisa Callahan. I guess we're related. Well, anyway. There's going to be a lot of this stuff. I will say this. I did find it a little bizarre that uh, uh, the uh, African-American Ghostbuster uh, wasn't a scientist. I thought they'd be just that PC and just make them all scientists going into this. I was a little shocked that she was going to play the street chick. But then I remembered that Winston Zedmore wasn't a scientist either, either. He was hired extra help. He was more like a soldier Ghostbuster. Who knew? Don't fall into this guilt BS. Want to make a movie where an African American's a uh, scientist? Make your own goddamn movie. Tribute to uh, Tromo Films. Make your own damn movie or something like that. Make your own movie. I don't think that the Ghostbusters people that are starting an all female. Uh, cast are a part of the patriarchy and trying to keep black women down. In fact, I'm willing to bet the people that made this movie are pretty fucking liberal. Probably a lot more than I am. <laughs> trailer sucked. Wasn't funny. All right. One cool thing. I kind of dig the car. It's cool. Car looked good. I don't know. I just I, I, I see these women running around with the uh, ecto packs and stuff, and they look like the toys that I bought in the eighties. You know, they don't look like I don't know. There's something about the original ecto uh, plasm packs, or whatever the hell they call them. Like I said, I'm no nerd. I think so anyway. Uh, there was something about them that made them sort of I don't know look real. This stuff looks like toys, and it's not cool. And there's too much CG. And these women don't seem to be funny. But Melissa McCarthy was funny and maybe she was. I don't know. This wasn't funny. I think a 20 thing's funnier than this. 
My kid puked on my uh, wife today. That was funny. This is funny. And you know what? You, you, know, you, you can dislike it for any reason you feel like. And uh, you don't have to be taught by uh, Caitlin Tiffany how to talk about something. Talk about talk about it, um, I don't know, like any way you want. Now, does that mean this movie's going to suck for sure? Okay, no. That wouldn't be fair. All right, that would be pushing it. Wouldn't be sexist, but it would definitely be unfair. Um, no, probably not. It, it, I don't think you can say a movie's going to suck basically by the trailers and the best movies I've ever seen. The trailer sucked. But if you're selling a con comedy and they're expecting this not to be a bust, which I'm, eh, you might be. You really should put some funny stuff in your trailers to get people in the theater, especially when you're doing it, making such a radical change. Now, another thing I'll, I'll give these women credit for, and uh, the daringness of the cast, uh, this is pretty daring stuff. Um, I remember thinking Heath Ledger was going to fall flat on his face because Jack Nicholson such a, did such a great job. And this is sort of like walking into the same situation. It's It's... I don't know. It's it's it, it's a Ghostbusters is such a I don't know part of American culture, probably the world too. It's 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 such a part of uh you know it it the logo's iconic. So to take this underhand, I I gotta give these women this is ballsy. Women ballsy? Oh, another sexist statement. No, it is. It really is. If they could pull this off, got to take off your hat. I don't think they will. I think this is just too big a mountain to climb. And when I mean that, I mean asses in seats. Because no amount of t telling people that they're not talking about a movie right or a trailer right, and no amount of guilting is going to put asses in the seats. In fact, more than likely, it's going to keep them away. The dark cloud of someone yelling at you for sexism is going to keep people away from this film. And if it's good, nobody will ever know. That's not going to stop people from telling you you're a bad person because that's all these names really mean. You're a bad person and your opinion doesn't count because you're a bad person. You're a sexist, homophobe, a transphobe, this phobe, that phobe. Phobe this. Will you go see the movie at least? All right, I got a mission to make. I'm probably going to have to. I have an eight-year-old girl, and I am a sucker for her. Let me tell you. She walks into a candy store and goes... Or a corner store, a kiosk. And I fold like a deck of cards. If she wants to see this movie, and I got to be honest with you, I'm not going to point it out like I did Star Wars. First, first off, I Fell flat in my face. Star Wars ended up sucking. I'm probably not going to tell her about it, but I mean, I don't know. She's eight now. She'll probably figure it out. If she asks me, I'll probably take her. And I'll give you a big old fat review. But if I get lucky, and she has seen Ghostbusters before, and I think she likes it, uh, I probably won't be doing a review. But I'll do one if uh, my kid says go. Yeah, I make her sit through a lot of crap that she doesn't want to see. A lot of hockey games. I probably should return the favor. You think? All right. It's my stupid review. If you don't like it, stick it up your ass. And uh, if you want to call me a sexist, I don't care. You can do nothing to me. I don't care. I'm a miserable prick that drinks too much and knows way too much about a sport that I could never play at a high level. So good luck with that, you SJWMFers. Don't care. Eat me!